Hey guys, <clears throat> I thought, well, welcome back to the channel, or hello if you're new. I thought I would. Um, well, I'm going to start doing the series on my channel where I talk about why, why I'm fan of certain YouTubers. And I, one of the people called problematic and a lot of people don't like and shit. And so I thought I would just, I would just you know, get the ball rolling and just straight up start with Tana Mojo. So, you guys know the Tana Mojo, she's a YouTuber. She's been on YouTube for a couple of years and um, she got popping on YouTube for her story times. Anyway, um, Tana's been in a lot of candles. She has. Um, one of the reasons I'm a fan of Tana Mojo is because she She's a real ass bitch. She like you know, tells tells like it is. She um, her story times are hella hella entertaining. Yeah, and you know that's that's what she popped off of YouTube for, and um, yeah, and then um, two, she got a good ass music. Like you know, I miss her rapping. Like I wish she would get back into rapping, making making music. Her music is dope. I can't wait for her to go on tour again, so I can meet her because I'm a, even though I'm like five, five and 30, I'm a little older than her, than her, her, her audience, but hey. Um, okay. Reason number three, um, I love her fucking merch. I have a bunch of her ditchy merch, like, I'm not kidding you guys. Last year I bought so much ditchy merch, socks, like, I'm like, I'm obsessed with her merch. She even has like a ditzy phone case I want. She even has a ditzy hat I want. I don't give a shit. Her merch is everything. Reason number four. <laughs> she has a podcast, which I'm not she has a podcast. And she be telling some crazy stories like, you know. I love her podcast. I love it with Brooke and Hunter, her friends on there. They can hold her accountable for when she does really dumb ass shit. Reason mm -hmm. mm. five. Well... Her first guest was T Trisha Paytas, and I was like freaking out about that because Patricia, as much as I love Tana, mm -hmm. yeah, I want to upload this. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Yeah. Guys. I'm trying to think what else. <laughs> That's basically it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, I wish I did have all the money she has. And I'm excited also because she's come out, out with wine coolers. I did see wine coolers. And I'm excited about it. And the reason I fuck with Tana is because Tana has my filter. Tana's gonna tell like it is. Tana's gonna speak her truth and own when she fucks up. And okay, some more of her scandals that she recently, a year ago, got called out for for like racist shit she did. Well, no, she tweeted calling her best friend Amari the N word on Twitter, which I don't condone at all. And also, she there was some black creators. That she had been shady towards and shit. And mm -hmm, I mean, I'll be 100. Her apology video, I liked it, but I didn't really like it because I didn't feel like it was, you know, that sincere. I felt like Tana was reading a script, basically. And when we were dealing with COVID, was still going on. We were on lockdown. Tana was out partying and shit, which that was social distancing, which I didn't like, which bugged me the hell out about Tana. But of course, Tan's gonna do what the fuck she wants to do. She got the, mm, she got the money, the memes, all that stuff. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's basically about it. Yeah. I mean, I get why a lot of people 
And also, there was this, Tana got accused of, of stealing her, um, the design for her Digi merch. She got accused of stealing it from another, uh, brand. She was also, got called out because she didn't, she was like supposed to do like a sponsorship or something on Instagram and she didn't do it. So me, if I would make it big on YouTube or social media, I'm gonna do my, I'm gonna, I'm, if I tell a brand, yo, I'm gonna post that on my Instagram, I'm going to, I'm not gonna, oh yeah, I'm gonna do it and line up because that's not cool. Anyway, that's, Basically, the end of my video. I love you guys and peace.